this video, I will show you step-by-step -step method of soap making using a double boiler. First, I will weigh my ingredients, coconut and olive oil. With soap making, it is very important that correct measurements be applied. Everything has to be precise. In here, I am scooping my coconut oil. I like coconut oil in my soaps because other than its moisturizing properties, it is also anti-fungal. Next, I will be preparing my light solution. This I have to be careful, put my gloves on, goggles on to protect my eyes, but if I get any in my skin, I can easily neutralize it by spraying vinegar. Let's stir it well. Now, I will pour my water solution into my carrier oils. Using my electric hand mixer, I will blend them together. Lump at the bottom. Now, I will add half a teaspoon of mica powder for my soap base, then continue stirring until it becomes like a pancake powder. I will cook or saponify my soap butter using a double boiler. Do you see the big black casserole? There's water underneath and my aluminum casserole is inside. We'll wait until the water boils. While waiting, I will prepare my design. Using a tablespoon, I will liquefy the mica powder with olive oil so it will be easily absorbed by the soap mixture. Using a measuring cup, I will pour the right amount of essential oil blends. Yay! My soap is halfway done. Let's wait another 10 minutes. This is the soap after 10 minutes. I will now pour my scent and mix it until the soap absorbs the oil. Steer, 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 and steer. Now the fun part. Half of the soap butter, I have added the orange color. I will pour it back in and I will blend them together. I will be using a swirling technique as I don't want my soap to turn all orange. Now it's ready to be poured into the mold. I will be needing muscle strength to pour this 3 pound of soap butter. Tap, tap, tap to avoid air pocket. Another top and now I am using my chopstick to doodle it and give it a nice design. Now let's wait for 24 hours to cure. After 24 hours, this is the finished product. Now it's time for me to cut my soap loaf into bars. Ta -da! So this is my orange zest soap bars. We are located in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. See you!